Oh, that was so lovely, that moment, yeah. phoning your uh, mum. I know, she was literally waiting for it. I oh. mean, she just wanted to listen to the news and she was literally probably praying to God the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what mums do. Well, it Did she teach yeah. you to bake? Uh, she teach me how to cook, but I kind of self-taught for baking perspective after I came to UK. Like, literally, I have nothing else to do, yeah. no friends and something, so I need to do something to get busy. So that's how I slowly get into baking. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so you literally taught yourself? Pretty much, yeah. yeah, yeah. The first cake I made is when my parents visited first time in UK for about two years ago. It was my birthday. And I think baking is about, you know, celebration of family or yeah. doing something for someone. So when they came, I okay, okay, yeah, so this is my birthday, let's make a cake. And that's when I made my first cake. And how was your first cake? Uh, it was all right. It was... Not the greatest, but it was OK. It was edible, but... It but you persevered, out. and then you used to make cakes and take them, because you're a neuroscientist, isn't No, no, no I, I work in... Well, I'm a research, uh, research. Associate, research scientist, but I work in Nuclear MRC, University yeah. of Sheffield. So you were taking your bakes yeah, into people? Yeah, yeah. I was taking a lot of my bakes to, to my work, but then when I entered into Bake Off, I feel like it's quite a giveaway. I, I bring some of the bakes to work, and they is it for... Is it Bake Off or something? I mean, did you actually apply finally or you got into it? Like, that's it. I can't bring any more bakes <laughs> there. So uh, the rest of the bakes is going to yeah. local supermarkets. Well, look, what are you going to bake for us today now that I'm you're here to... in the kitchen? Yeah, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a ginger cake. Mm -hmm. So it's a very similar version of ginger cake I did in the Spice Week. Yeah. And uh, so, so, but this one is a very simple version of it. It's an all-in-one method, mm -hmm. and you can whip it up any time in home if you have, well, pretty much most of the ingredients you probably have in home. So, yeah, so we have, like... So you're basically saying watch and learn. Yeah. Uh, you're, you know, Raoul's saying I'll you can do this. Yeah. You can and this is Raoul's... But this is your first time live cooking, because, of course, is, the yeah, bake is a bit recorded. daunting, isn't no, it? No, don't be... You're the champion. You know, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> OK, so what have you got in the bowl? So we have some uh, baking spread here and some golden syrup, and then I'm going to add some dark brown sugar here. And here we actually have um, cinnamon, mm -hmm. uh, self-raising flour and ground ginger. So you okay. put everything together here uh, with two eggs. And I'm going to put a little bit of baking powder there. The only Which does what, Raoul? It's basically gives us rising. Okay. So normally, traditionally, what you do for cakes is you beat, using creaming method, you beat the butter and sugar together. And then you start incorporating other elements like fat mm -hmm. and like uh, eggs. Ooh, oh, sorry. It's just, minutes, be, right. it's just me again. <laughs> You know, I'll try, yeah. So it's a very quick method. So uh, in normal thing, when you do the uh, creaming way, you don't really have to put baking powder, it's fine. Uh, but when you're doing it all in one method, you put everything together and it literally takes 30 seconds to put, you know, to just mix everything. Yeah. You know, as you you know, I love to cook, Raul, well, but I'm rubbish mm -hmm. at baking. So I think it's a bit... It's baking like a science. Baking is about science. It's a, science, a little bit. It? You have to stick to a little bit of measuring and measuring. Oops, see. You should oh, thank the young right man up. that made you the cake yesterday. What was his name? Josh Abbott. Yeah, Josh Abbott. Josh Abbott made me a fantastic cake. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Well so, done. you see, this a is... A complete stranger in the street, I'd like to point out. I said to me, you should go on Bake Off. It was fantastic. Well, I, I think everybody should at least try, because I started baking properly two years ago, and if I can be in Bake Off, then anybody can, so, yeah. But then you never... The thing I loved about you, Raoul, because, A, you're a very good baker, and you're so inventive and so creative, but all the time you look terrified, you never yeah, thought you were going to go through... That's a different story, because... I like to find out what's wrong in things, so yeah. I'm preparing myself well, for Well, you have no time feedback. to find out what's wrong with things. Nothing wrong. Yeah, that's, <laughs> fine, that's fine, that's <laughs> fine, yeah. So basically, here is a basic cake mix. Now, yeah. just to, you know, just to give it a little bit of extra crunchiness or extra texture, so this is a stem ginger, so you can find them in the supermarket in, like, yeah. knobs of it, and it's about five or six of them chopped, and what you do is, it's just going to sprinkle about a tablespoon of flour. The reason is, you know, when you make any fruit cake, like Christmas cake, you mm -hmm. put cold, the, you know, the dried fruits in, uh, in the flour, so what it helps is stops it to sinking Thinking. down. Oh, and okay. here, so you know, when it cooks, the fat gets melted, and then there is a chance that the, all these lovely bits of stem ginger mm -hmm. could sink at the bottom. Now, would you like me to put that in here for well, you? Well, that's a little bit tricky. I mean, oh, if you wanted it? to do it in a tablespoon, it's always going to be messy. Is so, it? what I prefer oh, is okay. to put into like a parking bag. That's yeah. why you are the champion. Uh, well, I, I try to be not to be messy, but in real life, I'm very messy. But when you do it all in one method, it's just very important to remember that the, the, all the fats are in the same temperature, like the butter or, or you know, oh. vegetable fat, or whatever you're using, like margarine, is out from the fridge at least a couple of hours. So they're the same temperature with the eggs. Yes. Okay. So that's the key. So what you do, what I like to do is using uh, this piping bag and fill about a three-fourth away. Mm -hmm. So it has time, well, it has space to rise. 
Uh, but again, it, it's just an overflow no. and things like that. It's very and neat then what's as this well. One? Shall I keep going on that one? Yeah, for if we you? do that, so we're going to bake it in uh, in an oven about 160 degrees. Mm -hmm. for... And it comes out like this. It does. Yeah, not that bit. That bit will come later. Yes. So I'll probably just put it in the oven, and you know, like magic. We can yeah. do that. Yeah, I can okay, do that that's fine. You. I'm just trying to hurry you up a bit, Ralph. <laughs> well, we're trying not to panic right. you, Ralph. Yeah, but yeah, you know, we've got two minutes exactly left before we're thrown off the. All right. Yeah, that's fine. So basically, here we have the caramel. So the caramel. Is uh, you use a boil of some uh, of sugar and water. Just remember not to stir, just yeah, yeah. to swirl, and then put some heated double cream in it. Okay. And you so get lovely caramel. And you put some sea salt and some ginger into yeah. it, and then you fill it up in the piping bag. And then what you do, you got this uh, cupcakes, and you just poke it into it. Or poke it and in. fill the inside of. Is the that cupcake. ready now for me to eat? You can, well, but you can actually, uh, you know, what I would suggest, what you do. Oh, it gets better. Is, yes. Yeah, it gets better. just put some icing on the top. So, you know, like this is one of the filled ones. So what you do is you take your piping bag and then pipe as much as you or as little icing you want to put. This is a cream cheese frosting. So it's double cream mascarpone and a little bit of caramel into it. And if you have time, a little yeah. bit luxury, just put some cinder toffee on top. You know, or you can actually drizzle. Well, I have caramel. to taste Raoul's because we have got we the don't. champion. Of I hope you like it. I hope it's not Great bad. Great British Bake Off here. Look at oh, I, you who, hope I like it. I hope. I honestly, hope. you're the kind of sweet, but I think you know. <laughs> He's apologising yeah. again. I Don't apologise. Like Your yeah. baking's superb. Do you like it? It's lovely. Your oh, cream is you. particularly light. It's lovely. Yeah, it is. It is. That's why it goes for like you oh, know that's cream delicious. cheese rather than. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's it's good. delicious. I haven't had ginger with that caramel. Uh huh. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. It is a pleasure. To... I might give you a hug. Oh, you can. No, Thank you. All right. Thanks You're all right a lot. Now. Yeah, well yeah, done. I'm fine. Okay, yeah, it's done that, now. That was your first live bake. That's my first live bake. Well yeah. done. You should stick at this, mate. You've got a talent. Yeah, well I think you could do this. Thank you oh, very thank much. You, thank you, Raoul. Thanks a lot. Um, thank the you. recipe on mm. the this morning app for Raoul's cupcakes—they are delicious.